Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire. Huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. ChumbaCasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jungle Jim and Colo held up three men who were approaching the old lamissary from the south and discovered to their amazement that the party consisted of O.P. Watts and two natives. Jim and Lil immediately explained their position to Watts, telling him they believed that his daughter and her husband, Bob and Connie McGuire, were being held prisoners in the old lamissary, which is now in the hands of the silent one. Jim told Watts that he planned to wait until night and then attempt to get within the lamissary's walls and make a search, but Watts held him back. He told Jim that Colonel Hammond had warned him that the silent one worked with the exiled Maharaja of Ebor and that it would be wiser to wait for Ebor's next move. That proved to come much sooner than our friends expected. For as Watts finished talking, Colo came with the news that a group of armed men had just left the Lamissary's gate and were headed directly toward them. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. While Jungle Jim, Shanghai Lil, and O.P. Watts face unknown danger outside the walls, Bob and Connie McGuire stand before the Maharaja in the Lamissary's Great Wall. Both have been searched, but the Maharaja has not found the map which shows the location of the buried jewels of the Genghis Khan. Very well, McGuire. I'll give you and your wife one more chance. What have you done with him up? Speak. I've told you that we haven't got any more. Oh, please, you search this, Maharaja. Now let us go. You will remain within this Lamasari until I have the map. By the beard of the prophet, I'll get the truth out of you. What would you say if I told you that I had lost it? That you lied. The map is gone, Ebor. I'm telling you that for the last time I've lost it. We shall see. <laughs> Perhaps after you have spent a few days in the dungeon, you'll change your story. But we've told you the truth. And you leave me but one course. You will be locked in a cell until you decide to talk. Oh, no. Steady, Hannah. Yes, Hannah. See that the cell is ready for these two. Yes, Hannah. Just one. I hope that you will enjoy my hospitality. You don't dare hold us here against our will. The authorities will be here within a week. <laughs> that is where you are wrong, Maguire. Oh, Bobby's right. The British never interfere with the Buddhist lamas. Hmm. You are quite right, Miss McGuire. You are trapped. And there is but one way for you to free yourself. What have you to say? Nothing. Then throw them into the cell. Oh, no. Please let us go. Seize them. Yes, man. Oh, Leave me alone. No. Yes, You'll never get away with this, Ebor. Take them away. At once. This way. Oh, no. Don't lock us up. Connie. Connie, dear. Pull yourself together. Oh, but Bob. It'll come out all right, darling. This will give us a chance to talk. Oh, but Bob, look. It's such a terrible place. It's dark. Now, don't worry, dear. I'll be with you. Enter, Mem Sahib. Come on, Connie. Poor oh, Bob. This place is awful. How long will we have to stay here? I don't know, Connie. But you've got to listen to me. We're safe, dear. Ebor isn't going to harm us. But he's such a terrible man. So evil looking. I know. But don't forget, darling. We hold the key to the hiding place of the jewels of the Genghis Khan. As long as we can keep that secret, we're perfectly safe. Oh, I'll try to be brave. Hold me close. There, now. 
All we've got to do is keep our secret, Connie. As long as we can do that, nothing will happen to us. Oh, you were grand when he was questioning us, dear. Oh, but I was so frightened, Bob. What did you do with it? Shh. Wait. I want to make sure the Maharaja's men are gone. Can you see anyone? No. No, they've all left. Bob, why didn't they find the knot when they searched you? You haven't really lost it, have you? No, oh, no, of course not. Connie... I don't know why I did it, but this morning I folded the map and put it in my shoe. In your shoe? That's right. I can't explain why I did it, but I did. <laughs> but doesn't it hurt? You're darn right it does. I didn't notice why we were on our horses, but it was all I could do to keep from limping when we started walking. Wait, I think I'll get it out now. Well, Bob, maybe you shouldn't. After all, we're safe as long as we have it. You said that yourself. Yes, but don't forget. They're going to search me again before they get through. <clears throat> this shoe is tight. There, <clears throat> got it. Well, if there were only some place where we could hide it. Wait till I get the shoe back on now. Bob! What's the matter? I thought I saw a shadow over there. Bob, there is someone watching. You can see him through the bars. You're right, Connie. Here, take this map. I've got it. Keep it out of sight. All right, whoever you are, we see you. What do you want? Oh, Bob! Bob, it's the silent one. He's been watching us. <laughs> you are quite right, Mrs. McGuire. It is the silent one. What do you want? Give me that map. While this scene has been taking place within the Lamasary's walls, Jim, Lil, and O.P. Watts have been facing a different danger. Kolo came with word that several armed men were riding toward them. Jim, Kolo's right. They're headed for us. There's no doubt about it. Yes, and there's seven of them. Well, what are you going to do, Bradley? We can't just stand here and wait for them. No, we're not going to. Kolo! Yes, Etwan. Take care of the horses and provisions. Get them around to the other side of the hill. Kolo, do. Right away, Twan Jim. What are you going to try, Jim? We're going to do the only thing that's left for us. Face them. Come on. We can partially conceal ourselves behind those rocks over there. Have you got your gun, Lil? Yes, it's ready for action. How about you, O.P.? Are you armed? Yeah, don't worry about me, Bradley. I'll take care of myself. Okay. Now, here we are. Get down flat. Everyone. Oh, Jim, look. They're coming. Colu never had a chance to get away with the horses and provisions. Yeah, just look at the mangy bandits. Why, they... Oh, I'll show them. Put down your gun, Watson. Uh, we don't want trouble unless it's impossible to avoid uh, it. But, but, but we can't just wait here and be taken prisoners. Oh, don't worry. We won't be taken prisoners. Now, you shut up. They're almost here, Lil. Keep them covered. I'm going to find out what they want. Don't take chances, Jim. I won't. All right. Stay where you are. We've got you covered. Do not shoot, Bob. We come in peace. Have the rest of your men stay where they are. You keep your hands over your head and come this way. All right. Come on. Come on. I have come with message, Bob. Watch out, Jim. He's armed. Maybe a trap. He can't get away with anything. Come on. Speak up. What do you want here? You are Jungle Jim Bradley, Bob. That's right. Here is note from Master. Let me have it. And see that you keep your hands over your head. Yeah, I'll watch him, Bradley. What does it say, Jim? Wait. Well, listen to this, Lil. Bradley, take this last warning and turn back. We are many and you are few. And it's signed the silent one. What? Why, the insolent puppy. What does he mean by sending orders to hold us? Hold it, hold it, Opie. Uh, All right, you. Now tell me who sent you here. The message is signed, Saab. It was the silent one. Oh, and I suppose his boss, the Maharaja of Ebor, didn't have anything to do with it. I was sent by silent one. Yeah? Well, you can go back and tell him that O.P. Watts said for him to mind his own business. Tell him his threats may bulldoze his men, but not me. Let me handle this, O.P. What? There's something behind it that I don't understand. Well, you're right about that, Jim. Is that the only message you have? That is all, Saab. Then I have a message for you to take back. A message for Bob and Connie McGuire. The two who came... Go on. What were you going to say? I do not know them, Bob. He lies, Jim. He almost said the two who came this morning. Yep, she's right. She's right, Bradley. Yeah, he knows who I mean, all right. It was Bob and Connie McGuire who came this morning, wasn't it? I did not see visitors, Bob. Oh, all right, all right. I found out all I want to know anyway. You can go now. Yes, and you can tell your bosses, the silent one of the Maharaja, 
that O.P. Watts says that he's going to fight to the finish. <laughs> Good for you, O.P. That's not the message I want taken back. Jim, what are you saying? Let me handle this a little. Go back and tell your master that we will leave here at once. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Uh, but Jim, now you... you shut up, Bill. You too, O.P. That's all now. Get going. I will deliver your message, sir. Jim, you must be crazy. Oh, crazy as a Wait a minute. Wait, wait. I want them to get away before we do any talking. All right, they're down the hill far enough now. How about explaining yourself, Jim? Yes, Bradley. Now, what about it? I hired you to protect my daughter and her husband. And now you say you're going back. Well, I, I won't have it. You understand? Hold I'm... it, hold it, O.P., hold it, will you? I didn't say that we were going back. What? I said that we were leaving here. But, Jim, now we're fairly sure that Bob and Connie are at the land of the rest. That's right, Lil. Nevertheless, we're going to pack up and start back toward Fort Jamrat. Never, never. I won't permit it. We are not going to leave until we've rescued Bob and Connie. Will you let me explain well, myself, uh, Watts? Uh, Quiet a minute, will you? We're going to start back toward Fort Jammer right away. Say, say, haven't you two any idea what I'm talking about? If you're going back for Colonel Hammond, Jim, you're crazy. Yeah, that's what I say. But we're not going back for Colonel Hammond. But look here, Jim. Quiet, will you, O.P.? But... Now, look, it's almost night. We're going to let the Maharaja's men see us start back. But as soon as it gets dark, we're going to make a wide circle. And approach the Lamb Missouri from the other direction. Right, Lil. <laughs> Don't you see? The silent one and the Maharaja are going to think the same as you two did, that we're headed for the fort. Uh-huh. That'll put them off their guard. Very clever, Bradley, very clever. I, I thought for a minute you were going to desert us. Uh, let me do the thinking, will you, Watts? What? Now, tonight, Lil, I'm going to carry out my plan. What do you mean, Jim? I'm going to get in the old lamissary and find Bob and Connie McGuire. A few hours later, as night settled over the Afghan hills, a messenger reported to the silent one. It is the same man who talked to Jungle Jim a few hours earlier. Oh, slave, you are back. What have you to report? The white ones have gone, silent one. You follow them as I directed? Yes, master. When darkness fell, they were nearing the path. Good. That is all. You may go. Yes, master. Silent one. Oh, Highness, I am glad you have come. The man has returned? Yes, Highness. We have been successful. Jungle Jim Brady and Shanghai Lil have turned back. Our messengers followed them nearly to Khyber Pass. So, good. We are now ready to act. What did you discover by listening to McGuire and his wife? Why, nothing, Highness. What? You heard nothing? Oh, it was impossible to hear all they said. But when I first entered the cell, they talked of something which Maguire said was in his show. Was it the map? No, Highness. That is what I thought, so I searched them immediately. They carry nothing, Highness. Then there is but one thing left to do. They have hidden it, and we must have it. If you would let me handle Maguire. No, no, no. Not yet, silent one. We will save the torture for later. I have a better plan. But, Highness, uh, what do you intend to do? Now question him, Father. The time for questioning is past. Now the Maharaja of the Boar will act. What does all this mean? Is the silent one double-crossing the Maharaja of Ebor? He took the map from Kani, yet now denies its existence. The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Cats and Yammer Kids, Jiggs and Maggie, Barney Google, Toots and Casper, The Little King, Flash Gordon. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.